Hey there, this is Veena from Pataki, the channel that's about baking and much much more. Okay then, let's get cracking with today's recipe. Welcome to Pat a Cake. It's time we made an all-time favorite and traditional Goan pickle, Tenli pickle. It's hot, it's sweet and it's lip-smacking tasty. So now let me show you my recipe for the popular Goan Tenli pickle right here at Pat a Cake. Okay, let's get started. Here I have 500 grams of Tainly or Ivy Gold as it's called in English. I've already washed and wiped the Tainly dry. Let's now slice each one of them lengthwise into 6 to 8 pieces. But we'll discard those that are ripe and red. I'm done with the slicing. So let's add 1 tablespoon of salt to the sliced Tainly and mix it in well. We'll keep this aside for around 30 minutes. During that time, the tainly will release a little liquid. After half an hour, let's transfer just the tainly slices to trays or thalis, spreading them out in a single layer. The released liquid can be discarded. You could cover each tray with a thin muslin cloth or any protective cover through which the sun's heat can get to the tainlies and then set the trays in the sun to let the tainly sun dry for 3 to 4 hours. After that, they need to be air dried for a few more hours or overnight indoors. Here's the sliced tainly after a good 3 hours of drying in the sun and air drying overnight. If you don't get strong sunlight in your balcony or through your windows, you could dry the tainly in a regular oven or a microwave oven in the convection mode at 120 degrees centigrade for around 15 to 20 minutes. After that, air dry the tainly for a few hours or overnight. We partially dry the tainly to get rid of some of their moisture. The more moisture the tainly loses, the longer will be the shelf life of your pickle. That done, let's take a look at the spices we'll need for making the pickle masala. Here I have 1 teaspoon of lightly roasted methi or fenugreek seeds, 1 and a half teaspoons lightly roasted mustard seeds, 2 teaspoons lightly roasted cumin seeds or jeera, 1 teaspoon of peppercorns, 1 and a half teaspoons turmeric powder, and 3 tablespoons Kashmiri chili powder. If you want to use regular chilli powder, make that 2 and 3 quarter tablespoons to start with. And then I have a thick piece of ginger, around 2 inches in length, and 18 medium sized cloves of garlic. I've lightly roasted these 3 spices so that they can be ground more easily. For the same reason, I'll slice the ginger and garlic before grinding them. I'll first transfer the methi, mustard, and cumin seeds to my grinder jar. I'll grind these and be back. Here's the ground mix. Now let's add in the other spices. We'll grind all of this with around 2 tablespoons of vinegar to start with. We might add some more vinegar later if necessary. Our masala has been ground to a smooth paste. I had to add one more tablespoon of vinegar to grind it. Now let's heat half a cup of oil. Use any cooking oil without a strong smell. To it, we'll add our ground masala. We'll be using half a cup more of vinegar in this recipe. But I'll now use only a little of it to rinse my grinder jar and will add the rinsing to the pan as well. We'll roast the masala for around 3 to 4 minutes and then add in the semi-dried tainly slices. Let's roast and cook them on low heat for around 15 minutes. 
Next, we'll add the half cup of sugar that I had measured first and then powdered and the rest of the half cup of vinegar. Let's mix everything well and continue stirring the pickle on low heat for another 15 to 20 minutes till the tendli is cooked but not exactly soft. It's now time to taste the pickle. At this stage, you could add more salt, vinegar or chilli powder according to your taste. I think it needs just one tablespoon of vinegar and a quarter teaspoon of salt. As you can see, the oil has now started separating. Our pickle is ready to be taken off the heat. I had already sterilized two glass bottles earlier on. I sterilized a small extra bottle as well, just in case the larger one doesn't suffice. For instructions on sterilizing glass bottles, please refer to my Brinjal pickle recipe. The link is up here and in the description box below. And look at that! Here's our tasty Tainly pickle. I transferred it to the sterilized bottle while it was still hot. You can see the layer of oil on the top. That's how it should be. I'll fit the lid on the bottle only after the pickle cools completely, not before that. The pickle needs to mature at room temperature for around 10 to 12 days. And after that, feel free to enjoy your delicious homemade Goan Tendli pickle. Which is your favorite pickle? In Goa, we have several super tasty options to choose from. But this is one of my top favorites. What about you? Do let me know. I'll be so happy to hear from you.